this is Elaine with Antelope Beads and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a half knot or spiral macrame bracelet. As you can see from these samples you can get all kinds of different looks depending on what size of cord you use and what types of beads you use and so there's just lots of options for this design and regardless of what design you choose, there are only four basic components. First of all are the beads, and in this particular case I'm going to use a combination of silver and some large hole wood beads. We're going to use an inside cord, and that's what we're going to string the beads on. So I just want to make sure that my beads will go through the cord, no problem with that. We're going to use an outside cord that we'll actually use for the knotting and we'll need probably between three and five feet of cord depending on the size of the cord and the size of the beads. And then lastly we'll need some kind of closure such as a button. So let's get started. In this particular case my inside cord is quite a bit larger than my outside cord and I do want to use my thicker cord to make the loop for the button because it's just going to be more substantial. So what I'll do is take my Naughty Do-It-All board and I will fold my thicker cord over so that I have a loop at the top. I'm going to go ahead and clip it in this little clip and I put this clip at the zero point and then I'll use, be able to measure my, the length of my bracelet as I go along. And the next I will take my longer cord, and this is the one again that I'll actually use for knotting, and I will find the center point. I'm going to lay it underneath my loop and start a knot. Okay. And for this I will place one side of the cord over the center cord, the other side will go over the cord I just placed over the center cord, and then underneath everything, and then I'm just going to pull that loop through, and I have a knot, okay? The next thing I'll do is just stop for a second and make sure that my button is going to fit nicely through that loop that looks perfect. So I'll continue to knot about three or four times. Now for this particular knot, I'm never going to change sides. If I started with the right hand side of the cord, I'm going to continue to use that. So it's over, over, under, and pull it through, okay. and tighten, okay. over, over, under, through, I'm going to kind of push these together a little bit, and I think I'll do one more before I'll add beads, over, over, under, through, and now I'd like to, before I add beads, I'd like to get rid of this little tail here. So I'll take either a pair of flesh cutters or some sharp scissors. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut it off just about maybe, you know, a sixteenth of an inch above the knot. And then I'm going to put another last knot over this. Slit up a little bit and I don't want that to happen. Okay. So over this little tail here to completely hide that. So I'll put a little drop of glue on that. This is super new glue, right here. Okay. And I'm going to do another knot over, over, under, through. And I'm just going to take a second to make sure that I set this last knot before my beads right on top of my tail. And you see it's completely hidden. Now I can start to add beads. And I've decided to use a sequence of a silver bead. I've got a large hole tiger ebony bead. Another silver bead. Okay. 
I'm going to push these up, okay? And I'm going to continue to knot, again, always from the same side, over, over, under, through. And now you'll really start to see this spiral. And I'm going to quickly do a few more knots here because what I'd like to do is get to the point where I've got about a 180 degree spiral before I add my next set of beads. And you notice it really is spiraling. Everything wants to twist around. So I'll do a couple more knots. And then I can actually, at any point, I can just sort of flip my work over. It doesn't change the direction of my knot. I'm still knotting from that same side. Okay. And I'm going to keep knotting until I think I've got five knots right now. I think if I do one more, that'll give me about a 180 degree spiral. Okay. And now my ends are sort of parallel to where this frame is here. So when I start my next set of beads, my frames will be all sort of parallel to each other. So I'll continue this process until I've reached the end of my bracelet. And again, I'm going to use the Naughty Do-It-All board to determine how long I want my bracelet to be. Okay, now I've finished knotting my bracelet and I've got up to about the seven inch point. Of course, my button will add a little bit, so I think I'll just stop right here. And now I want to finish knotting and add the button. So I will go ahead though and start by just bringing my cord like I, I have all along, over, over, under, through, to get that sort of, the beads locked in there. And now I'm going to add the button. And I know I have about five knots at the top, so I'll be adding four more knots. And I will go ahead and put the button, shank of the button through the leather, and I will just lay it down over here. And at this point, I think I'm going to take my peg out, move it over here, and I'm just going to sort of clip right above the button, okay? The main thing I want to do right now is just make sure that my tail extends past the bead. So I'll get that knot fixed again, okay. and I will continue to knot over, over, under, and through. And now I've locked that tail in. Once I've done that, I'll just make sure everything looks pretty straight. And then I'll continue to knot four more times, over, over, under, and through. I'm still doing the spiral knot, don't want to change that. That's three, over, come on, there you, okay, four, one more. Now, of course, I don't want this huge knot at the end of my bracelet, so I'll take this off the, the hook, the clip, and I will just pull this through now to whatever point I want the button to be. I do like to leave a little bit of space at the top because it does help to lock the button into the loop at the end. So that's looking good, and now I'll go ahead and finish. I'm going to use the super new glue again. I will cut these two little ends pretty flush to where the knot is. And wherever I cut, I'm going to want to put some glue. There we go. Same thing with this tail. I'll go ahead and cut that. And I will put some glue on it. And then I can actually take a pair of pliers or anything and just sort of poke that end underneath my knots. So it's almost completely hidden. And now I have my spiral wrap bracelet. 
I hope you've enjoyed this project. We do have written instructions online. Please go to antelopebeads.com to get that information. Thanks for watching.